Hello, in this tutorial, I will show you how to use GIMP to add text on an image. So if you already have an image on your uh, computer, you can go to your first, of course, you open the GIMP. And once you open it, you click File and Open. Now you can locate your uh, image. In my case, I put my image on the desktop, so I click desktop, and then here is my image. I select it, and then I click open. So now here is my image. Now I want to put the text on uh, this image. I want to put, uh, because this is uh, a picture of the Museum of Civilization in Ottawa, Canada. So I want to put this text here to tell people where it is. To add a text to an image, you click this uh, text tool. So this is like a capital A. So you click on that, and then you also click on the image where you want to start your text. So for example, I click here, a text box opens. So I will say Museum. of civilization and now if I click close so the text is printed on the um, image now if I want to change the color for example I don't like the blank color I prefer to have a red color here so I just need to c you see because I choose the text to here and then near the bottom of this toolbox uh, all these are related to uh, the text. So here is the color of the text. I click on that, a pop-up window appears. So here I can choose the color if I want the red. So I click here. So if I want a little bit uh, lighter, so I can choose this side. Or if I want a little bit darker, I choose on this side. So once I'm satisfied with the color I choose, and then you, I can click OK. So now you see the text color is changed. But now I think it's a little bit darker than I would like. So I make it a little bit lighter because the blue background, I want to make it uh, lighter. So I click OK now. So you see, oh, but it's a little bit too strong. But anyway, you get the idea. And you can also change the text size. So also different font face. So here, if you click this font, and then you can choose bold, or you can choose uh, italic, or just not bold. So you can just pick whatever you like. So let me see. Maybe I prefer to have uh, just a sans, maybe sans bold. Make it a little bit more uh, stronger. And also, you can change the distance between letters. So here, if you notice this A, B, and then here is a number. So what you can do is you can increase the number. So you, you, as you can see, the text uh, will have larger space between letters. So uh, maybe I make it a little bit smaller, so something like this. And then, of course, you can also change the text size. Instead of 24, I can increase to 26 or reduce it to a smaller number. And then after you're satisfied with your text, of course, you can also change its position. And you just need to put your mouse uh, on top of the text. And once it shows uh, like a cross symbol, you can start press down the mouse key and then you drag it. Um, you move it to anywhere on the image where you like, and then you release the mouse button. So now it is moved. However, you, you will see uh, some of the letters disappeared. That means actually in some way, I, by accident, I resized the, uh, the text. So I need to change the size of the text box. Yes, now you see it appears again. So you need just to resize it so that the box has enough space to contain uh, the letters. And now you can click close. So now I feel I'm satisfied. I can save the file.
I go to File, and I click Save As because I still want to keep the original one. And here, you have to uh, look at select the file type. And if you click this plus sign here, it will show you you can save in different text uh, format. The original image is in uh, JPEG format. If you save as still as a JPEG, afterwards, if you want to change the color of the text or you want to move the text box to a different location, you can do it. Once you save as JP, JPG, the JPEG format, you cannot change anything. So in order for you to be able to change uh, your text in the future, it is better you should actually save as GIMP XCF image. That is a native format for GIMP uh, program. So you just select this one, you will see the name extension becomes XCF. Once you save in this format, in the future when you open it, then you can change the text and you can change the text color, you can move the text around, you can do all kinds of things uh, to modify the text. And then until you satisfied with everything, and then you can also save uh, a JPEG version. Then you can post on the inter on the website or you send to your friend. So for now, I just save as uh, GIMP XCF image. So I click save. So now the image is saved. And then if I decided that I don't need to change anything, I'm happy with it. I just go to file. I say save as, and then. I click select file type again, and then I can find the JPEG image, and then click Save. So uh, an image will be saved in the JPEG format. As you can see, there are many other different formats, and the PNG, and uh, the PostScript, and also you can save as a Photoshop image. And once you save as a Photoshop image, you can uh, open it in the Photoshop and then work over there. And also, in addition, you may notice you can also save as TIFF image. This gives very large file size, but it includes all the information of the uh, of the image. So that is the preferred choice when you want to do more work. Uh, and also, it's it can be opened in many other programs. So now I just want to save as a JPEG, and then also I want to change the name a little bit so that it will not overwrite my original image. So I here I change this file name, just take out the number, for example, um, and then I press maybe number one here, and then I click Save. And then ask me if I want to export because originally it's in GIMP native format. Now, if we want to save, if I want to save as uh, JPEG, it will have a pop-up window. Ask me if I want to export it. You click export, and then again the quality. I prefer to use hundred to have high quality. And then now I click save. So now. The image with the text is saved as JPEG image. So I hope now you learned how to add a text and also how to customize your text to different colors, size, and the font face, and also how to move the text around in your image. Thank you.